In today's video I will show you how to create a temporary unlimited email website. You can now see a demo of the temporary email website. We can change the design of this homepage from the admin panel. Now the question is why you would create a temporary email website. Because by creating such a temporary email website you can get unlimited passive income. We are more or less familiar with the website you see in front of the computer screen. The owner of the website has been making passive income for a long time by creating a temporary email website. I am showing you another temporary email website. The owner of this website is earning unlimited money through Google AdSense. If you enter this website, you will see Google AdSense ads in different places. Just like you can see the ad of Google AdSense on our website. Today I will teach you how to create this kind of temporary email website through this video. Now I will discuss the features of our temporary email website. First you will see some social media icons. Then you can easily change the language. You can also copy these temporary emails. Then you can see the refresh button. You can easily change the emails and you can delete emails. I will now change an email, click the change button for this. Here you can enter the name of your favorite custom email. Then click the change email button. You can see that our custom temporary email has been created. The design of the home page of this website is very beautiful. You can add ads in different places. You can also write unlimited blogs. I have written these three demo blog posts. You can add ads to different places on your blog. You can add apps menu in the footer option. I will show you step by step how to customize a temporary email website. You will also find a powerful admin panel to control the website. I will discuss this admin panel in detail. Before that we will install the website on our hosting. Bluehost is the best website to buy domain hosting because you can get unlimited hosting from Bluehost at low price. I will give you the discount link of Bluehost website in video description. I have been using Bluehost hosting on my personal websites for almost 5 years now. You will get unlimited WordPress hosting from Bluehost. You will also get shared hosting, dedicated hosting, VPS hosting. You can buy low cost shared hosting. You will get a free domain with each package. I am using the pro package for my website. If you want you can use other packages. My personal advice is you use the pro package. Because in this package you get auto backup and dedicated IP. Moreover purchasing Bluehost hosting will speed up your website very fast. Only Bluehost will give you high quality hosting at the lowest price. To create a temporary email website you need to purchase a PHP script from Code Canyon. I will give the link of this PHP script in the video description. You can create unlimited temporary emails by purchasing this PHP script. You can make passive income for lifetime. This PHP script is priced at just $47. Once the PHP script is purchased, you will get the updated version for lifetime, and you get lifetime developer support. Contact us by email to resolve your issue. You will be given a cPanel after purchasing the domain hosting, then you need to log into your cPanel. I'm already logged in my cPanel. Now we need to upload the source code. For this, click on File Manager. The source code must be uploaded to the public HTML folder. But I will now upload the source code to the subdomain folder.
Then click on the upload icon. Now click on the select button. After purchasing the source code you will be given a few files. You must upload this zip file. To do this, click on the zip file then upload. Our zip file has been uploaded. Now click on go back. Now we will extract the zip file. To do this, click on the zip file. Our zip file has been extracted. Now we will delete the zip file. Now enter your domain in the browser. Then you can see the 404 or not found. It's very easy to solve. For this we have to create a .access file. Now click on file. Now name the file .access. Now we need to edit this file. I will give you this code in the video description. Now you have to copy this code and submit it to the file. Then click the save change button. Wow our problem has been solved. Now click on the next button. Then we need to create a database for our website. For this you have to go to Panel homepage again. Now click on the MySQL and databases. Then enter the name of your database. Now click on create database button. Enter the username here. Then you have to give the password. I will now link this password to the website. Now click on the create user button. Now we will connect the user and the database together. Creating our database is complete. Now we will add the databases to the website. Now click on the continue button. Then click on the get started. Now enter the name of your website. Now click on the continue button. Now we will write admin information. Then click the complete installation button. Wow our website installation is complete. Now we will set up the cron job. For this you have to log in to cPanel again. Then search by typing cron jobs. Now click on the Add New Cron Job button. Our Cron Job setup is complete. Now click on the Settings. Then click on the Change setting. 
Now we will upload the logo and for Viken for the website. You can change the color of the website as you wish. You can change the site title. Then you can select the language. Then click the Save Change button. Now go to the home page of your website. As you can see, the logo and for Viken of our website have not changed. To resolve this issue we need to clear the cookies on our website, or we will wait 24 hours. I am now proving that the logo and for Viken of our website have changed. Yes you can see now the logo and for Viken on our website have changed. Now we will customize the advanced settings, for this we need to create an email. Now go to the home page of your cPanel. Then click on the email accounts. Now click on the create button. Select your specific domain. Now enter the username for the email. Then enter the password. Now click on the create button. Then copy this email address. Now click on the default address. Now select your domain. Add the copied email address. Now click on the change button. Then click on the connect devices button. You need to add AI map host here. This URL from cPanel is the host address of your IMAP. Now copy this URL. Now we will check. Yes our IMAP server is properly connected. Here we need to add the domain of the website. Now click on Save Change button. Now we will go to the home page of our website. While our temporary email is working. We will add Google Recapture for our website security. For this we will search by typing Google Recapture. Here we have to enter the domain of our website.
Now click on the submit button. These site keys need to be added to our website. Now click on the Save Change button. Now we will check if Google Recapture has been added to our website. Yes, we have successfully added Google Recapture to our website. Now click on the SEO. Now we need to upload the SEO thumbnail image. There is no need to change the separator. I will not change the custom tags. Now click on the Save Change button. Now we need to add the Google Analytics code. Then click on the Create Account button. Now you need to enter the name of your account. Then click on the Save Change button. Now we will add Google Tag Manager. Now click on the Create button.
Now click on the Save Change button. Our SEO setting has been fully customized. Now click on the ads. Now we will add ads on our website. You can add any type of HTML and JavaScript ads. Or you can add ads to Google AdSense. I will now add a few ads to our website. You can then add pop-up ads. But I will not add pop-up ads. Now click on the Save Change button. You can see the advertisement of our website. This way you can add any type of advertising website. Now click on the blog settings. If you want to write blog on the website then enable it. Then click the save change button. Now click on the SMTP. Now we will set up SMTP server on our website. That's why we have to go to cPanel again. Now click on the email accounts. A while ago we created an email account. Now click on the connect devices. So let's add SMTP server to our website. Now click on Save Changes button. Yes, adding SMTP server to our website is complete. Now click on the languages. We can add unlimited languages of different countries. As an example I will now add the language of a country. You can see the language of a country has been added to our website. If we change the language now, you can see the language is not changing. We will change the language now. Wow our language has changed. You can now change the unlimited language using this method. Now we will change the icons and texts of this section. Now click on the features. Here you can add unlimited features. Now I will delete these features because I will add new features. Now click on the Add New button to add new features. First we will add icons. Now search by typing your icon name.
Now copy this code. Then paste the code. Enter the title of your feature. Then write a short description. Select which language this feature is for, I am choosing English. Then click on the Add New Feature button. You can use unlimited features by following the same procedure. I will now add a few features. You can see that the icons and texts in the feature section have changed. Now we will add menu to our website. Now click on the simple menu. I will delete these default menus because I'll add a new menu. Click the Add New Link button to add a new menu. I will now just add the Social Media menu. Add your Social Media link here. Then you can select the position. I am selecting the header. You can add unlimited menus using the same method. As you can see, our social media menu has been added. Now we will add the apps menu in the footer section. Now enter the title of your apps. Then add the apps URL to your website. You know, no apps were created for our website, so I will leave the URL section blank. Now select the position, I will select the footer position. Now you can see that the apps menu has been added to our website. We will now create a privacy policy and trans and condition page for our website. For this click on the pages. Then click on the add new button. Now enter the title. Then enter the content. Now click on the create page button. Now I will create a trans and condition page. Yes you can see our menu page is ready. Now we will change the copyright writing of our website. Now click on the settings. Then click on the languages. Now you have to choose which language to change the copyright. I will change the copyright writing in English.
You can see the copyright on our website has changed. Now we will write a blog post on our website. For this, first we have to create a category. Then click the Add Now button. Now enter your category name. I will now create a few categories. Now we will write a blog post. For this, click on the posts. Then click on the Add New button. Now enter your blog title. Then write the description of the blog. Now enter a few keywords. Now you have to select the category of the blog. Then write the content of the blog. Now we will upload thumbnails for the blog. Then I will click on the Create Post button. We can write unlimited blog posts using the same method. Now I will write a few demo blog posts. Now you can see the blog posts on our website. Now you need to customize the SEO setting. You can customize this SEO section as per your requirement. It is your responsibility to customize it. As an example, I will change this text. For this, we need to change the text of the home page. Now you can see the title has changed on our homepage. You can customize this SEO setting using the same method. Now we will check our temporary email. You can see we have sent a temporary email. In this video we have created a temporary email website very easily. You can make unlimited passive income by creating such temporary email websites. Contact us via email for any help. If you are a new visitor to our YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.